guys my name is jackie and today you're welcome to my youtube channel over here i do food and lifestyle videos okay so you can check out my page and congratulations for being here thank you so so much for watching today i'm going to show you guys how to fry meat okay i put so much flavor in here to make it taste good okay you can use this for your jollof rice for your stews you know palava sauce or whatever stew you want to make this recipe here is your go-to first i'm going to be using my benny powder so i go ahead to add my benny powder now benny powder has a lot of salt in there so whenever i'm going to use benny powder i use very little salt so it doesn't you know get salty because for meat even if it's a notch up salty it's still going to be really salty then i go ahead to add my curry powder my curry powder is from gino and i love gino curry powder it really tastes nice now after i go ahead to add my onion you'd realize i went in with the salt first then benny powder then the curry powder because i wanted to marinate a little i want the spicy taste to be in it before i go ahead to add my onion i did not have a lot of time usually if you have some time on your hands you want to marinate it overnight so it tastes really good but then since i don't have a lot of time i do the powdery one first and I go ahead with my onion now I go ahead to grate my garlic as well whenever I'm steaming meat if you're steaming meat please do not miss onion that's if you are not allergic or anything like that I really do hope nobody's allergic to onion but maybe maybe who knows then I go ahead to add my ginger as well so onion garlic then ginger that's a very nice combination well damn it you know it and I know it as well <laughs> so I just make sure it, I coat it very well you know coat the meat very well with all the spices in there now as you see this combination is definitely gonna taste really really good now this meat over here can be used when you're doing your um stews or your jollof rice anything whatever um food you want to prepare if there's going to be fried meat in there i trust that you're going to use my recipe if you have any other recipe that you use you might want to share with me in the comment section tell me about a girl let's have some fun exchanging recipes and for the guys i hope you try this and do it for whoever <laughs> So I'm going to cook it for a while and I add a little bit of water. Um, for meat, I'm not too sure if I should be telling you the cooking time because meat, it varies, you know. Some tends to be really tough, others also tend to be tender. It depends on what meat you are using. But 15 to 20 minutes should be fine. Either ways, just taste it, have a bite to see if it's done, okay? <laughs> My meat is done steaming now and that broth is going to be very amazing for some spicy jello fries but I'm not going to be using the broth today so I'll just put it in the fridge and go ahead to fry my meat. Now when you want to fry meat you don't have to put the oil on fire for so long just under very minimum heat about two minutes or a minute and then you just start frying else the meat can burn and you don't want that nobody wants to eat burnt meat okay <laughs> um it took me about five minutes to fry this and i'm going to be using it for my stew now you can go to my youtube page and check out my other recipes and my vlogs from ghana and whenever i travel see you next time thank you bye